been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? So then, you understand. I think looking to the future is a great way to live. That doesn't mean other ways of living are wrong. No one knows which road will lead to happiness. I'm really glad I met you. This must be what it's like to feel happy. Thank you for everything. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically 30 years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Huh, you think so? Looking at the current 30 years? I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is frickin' study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? <laughs> what are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name, then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me! Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. With so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talk to him. And obviously, all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai is getting ready to move, too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm, too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. 
She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly passed away due to illness. To tell the truth, after losing my father, I also lost much of my self-confidence. I had overestimated my ability to handle everything alone, because I believed it was the right thing to do. Few people can be that strong. There are times when we can't stand without the support of others. After my father's death, I received kind words from many people. You all taught me the value of allowing yourself to be cared for and protected. I hope to continue forward with the support of those around me. For us graduates, it was truly an honor to share the last three years with all of you. Thank you so much for those wonderful years. Man, that sounds rough. I guess even the student council president cries too, huh? Hey, she's not here. Who's not? You know? That girl we saw at the front gate. I thought she'd be at the graduation ceremony, but I guess not. Oh, her? Well, there's a lot of people who didn't show. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't skip. No shows, huh? Man, so that's gonna be us next year? Feels so soon. What are your plans, Yucatan? College? I haven't really decided yet. What about you? Oh, really? That's a surprise. You know how the student council president was crying? I can sort of relate, since my dad passed away too. But that stuff she said about seizing opportunities? Give me a break. How does she expect us to know what to do with that? I mean, yeah, it's important, but that's more for people who already know what they want in life. Well, at least one of us knows what he wants. You seem to be getting along pretty well with a certain someone, if you know what I mean. What are you trying to say? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, there's no hurry to decide what we want to do with our lives, right? I mean, I already have so much on my plate right now, you know? Hmm. Yeah. I guess that's true. Here's what I think. 
If life is all about the pursuit of happiness, then knowing the truth isn't everything, right? Sure, we do what we gotta do, but if we're taking a stand on every little thing, there'd be no end to it. In the end, it doesn't matter how you spend your time, as long as you're happy. No one's gonna fault us for choosing to live in the moment, right? Yeah, guess so. Man, that was some speech. To be honest, I'm not that strong on my own. And when I feel insecure, I get worked up. It's hard to explain, it's just how I am. Hey, I get it. Thinking never really gets me anywhere. When that happens, I just go do something fun and forget about it. <laughs> you would. Everyone's so uptight these days. They just need to chill out. You know, take it easy for a change. What are you gonna do if that plan backfires? I'll figure something out. And on that note, who's down for karaoke, anyone? Let's celebrate our future! Celebrating is for the graduates. Well, I'll go if he goes. Hey, what's with the preferential treatment? Well, now you're coming whether you like it or not. I'll buy you a drink, all right? 